Hello, so this is the first part in a series of videos about this small uh, internal combustion engine dyno that I'm putting together uh, for Kingdown School so they can do their engine testing for their eco marathon cart car. So what we have that goes on here is a 50, uh, 50cc uh, Honda bush cutter engine and this is the, the bell mouth adapter that allows us to put onto the clutch bell and actually connect it to the, the dyno. <laughs> So the way this works is we're using a 150 amp car alternator as our brake. And I'll do a further video on actually how dynos work properly. But for now, just as an overview of the system, we have a welded frame that my friend Neil put together for me. We have a 150 amp car alternator here, which we've modified it to have direct access to the stator winding. So we can actually inject voltage into here. And by doing so, it varies how much power this thing produces. And obviously, as this produces power, it's taking power from the engine. We then dump the energy that this produces into this Anson connector. And from that, we connect into, and we've only got one on here at the moment, we connect into this heating element, which is in a pool of water. So this is 600 watt, this one. So we can put more of these in parallel to handle the two and a half thousand watts that this thing can develop. So ultimately what happens is as we hold the engine at a certain RPM, we perhaps wide open throttle and we then apply a varying voltage to this. We then break the engine because this, the alternator body, tries to grab the shaft that's spinning within it, in a sense, with electromagnetic force. So what happens is the body of the alternator will rotate. And as you can see, it's connected to this arm. So this arm, so it will try and break, and it's turning in this direction. So it will break it, and it will then push this arm down. On here, we have a connection where a load cell will mount that this will rest onto. So as we, so if the engine's, got, if the old is not breaking at all, it's just spinning freely, it will just rest on the load cell and read nothing. If we squeeze the shaft more, so to speak, by applying electromagnetic braking force onto the shaft, then it will push down the load cell more and we'll then have a force acting on it. We have a known distance here and we get torque, but we're going to that in another video. And then we use an Arduino controller with a screen to record the force being pushed on here. The RPM, of the system itself via a taco pickup and from that we can compute the horsepower and we can do some clever stuff like hold it a certain rpm and uh, plot the horsepower at a different rpm so therefore get a dyno curve itself so that's the uh, the, the basic overview um, but we'll carry on with another video after this one cheers